On behalf of his family and very good friends, I wanted to thank you as you came today to the service to celebrate the life of M.Y., a.k.a. Wally Wallet. He was truly special, and your presence brings great comfort to us all. So thank you for being here during this time of transition. I've been asked to say a few words by his family, and I wanted to tell you about how Wally and I actually met. It was one of those warm, golden, California summer days in July of 2010 when we were introduced by a mutual friend. In fact, I know many of you um, have this friend in common and appreciate him as well, Ross D.F. Less. Well, instantly Wally and I clicked, hit it off. He was always up for a good time and so we really began to spend quite a bit of time together. He loved going out to eat and trying different cuisines. He, a uh, rare man that he was, he enjoyed retail shopping, uh, going to movies, uh, just being the life of, of the party. But what I loved about Wally too was that he knew how to be serious. He was very trustworthy. In fact, the inside joke was that I would trust Wally with my credit cards before I would leave them with my husband, Dan. Um, I don't think Dan appreciated that much, uh, as much as Wally and I did. But um, one of Wally's chief virtues was that he never judged. He knew my foibles, and yet he never criticized. Wally had his own style. He was comfortable in his own skin. Um, but his whole heart was to complement and enhance the other accessories that were part of our life. Um, he was no fair weather friend, I will definitely say that. He stuck with me through thick and thin, through scarcity and surplus, through teens and their tuition. Um, you know, sure, I understand that many might have overlooked him, because of his outdated tangerine colored skin that was creviced and wrinkled. Uh, but that was just testament to me to his previous life as part of an ostrich leg. And once you really got to know him and saw his capacity for holding the image of your family dear to and close to his heart uh, as if it was his very own family, that he would treasure your treasure and be able to look at the licenses of my accomplishments without there ever being any evidence of envy. You knew that Wally was a very rare entity. Uh, you know, American author Arnold H. Glasgow said, a true friend never gets in the way unless something is going to happen to take you down. And I can testify to that, that there were many times in life I was about to slip, especially in Minnesota in winter time. And Wally was there to cushion my fall. Not many friends will do that for you. In fact, his very last kindness, selflessness, was his request today that in lieu of any flowers that donations would be made to my student account at TKU in order to help me go to grad school. And that touches me so much that he, his kindness and legacy will live on and I really hope to honor him and to model the life that he did. So as we close, I would like to take just a moment and close our eyes to honor the life of this extraordinary soul. 